It's so important not to compromise your art by saying, will it sell? She was this determined whirlwind with boundless enthusiasm and energy, and I was swept off my feet into her orbit. Working with Joyce, I found she would never ask me to do something she wouldn't do herself, although I soon realized there was nothing she wouldn't do. I asked my mother if I could uh, start a school in the backyard. Had a school there for four years, and then we, there was a group that was looking at this big barn in Truro uh, for uh, and, uh, what to do with it because it was being to rot, and the guy, who Peter Brown, who owned it, uh, had to either uh, put money into it or bulldoze it. And so we parted, saying that would make a great art center, uh, and it was uh, left hanging. But Peter got enough encouragement from the discussions to decide that he would renovate each room in the barn and rent it to artists. Well, what happened was there was a lot of people who wanted to get involved, but they didn't want to get into the management part. So I agreed to take it on for one year to put this program together. And I think we had 11 or 12 uh, different people mm -hmm. who would teach. And um, that's how it got started. Always generous with her knowledge and delighting in sharing her discoveries, she is unique. An adventurer in her studio, she forges ahead. A true artist. Look at her hands, how she moves them, holds a tool, caresses an object. Like Joyce herself, there is nothing phony about her sculpture. The female figures with sensuous curves, crisp edges are strong and watchful. I had been whittling since I was about uh, around 10 years old in wood, I love wood. the time and love Joyce puts into her work, the sanding of the wood, the touching of the surface. This is the quiet mystery and beauty of Joyce Johnson and her art. I wish I could start all over again and do 10 other things that I've loved to do.